Oh, we have and we have we have a run back here between Stu and Adarov. I believe Stu taking that game. Stu, this is the top eight. All right, All right, here we go. So we got who is it? Robin versus Olimar. We, we have we have a war between projectile characters. This is an interesting matchup because a lot of um, Olimar's Pikmin, depending on the element they are, they're not. They can go through that element without taking any damage. So the red Pikmin can go through fire, like the arc fires, without taking any damage. And the yellow can go through lightning. And Robin uses both fire and lightning-based cool. magic. So this is like one of the few matches where you'll see stuff like that happen. Oh, but blue pigment and blue and purple will bypass her so her projectiles. If you think about the the pigment, actually have priority as well. Yeah, depending on which one. Ooh, nice grab, a range on that. Good down smash. Oh, nice. Ooh, a clink. No. With a, little, um, with a little more percent, that we'll see we'll see checkmate. So Stu has a lot of the control, but they're pretty even so far right now. Adarov just has to, you know, he just has to be careful. To try to get in, yeah. Because the more rage you give Robin, the easier he'll kill you. Yeah, Robin has pretty strong attacks. Like if you, oh, that was pretty close. He almost read that roll. Like, like from our friend Mod, from my friend Mod, from our friend Modman that came to Winter Wonderland like last month. He was telling us that Robin's like I say forward air and back air, like I say the lasting frames are multi-hits. I say this is checkmate percent if you can land a grab. It might be close to being away from checkmate percent because you know. Oh, there we go. It was Olimar is pretty late. So he got he got at the right time. That was enough rage and he read the DI too. And that's a really hard uh the lightning move is really hard to get out of. You can't, you know, you have to shield, but. With lightning based attacks they oh, nice. they have good forward smash, but with lightning based lightning based moves they, they have they have they leave a lot of hit stun. Yeah, so it gives him a hard time to get out of there. And Rob and Robin's and Robin's moves with the eleven sword are strong are strong and they leave a lot of hit stun and shield stun. So Sue's getting the lead now. But now they're even. Oh, <laughs> just tying up just from the just from the chip damage of the Pikmin. Good forward smash. Adderall's mm. Pikmin pull is really fast. Nice. Down throw to forward air is good damage. Oh, I see he was going jab one and two. Like you think he lost the book? I think he just didn't finish it because um he was still shielding. And he didn't want to like let it go on the shield. Ooh, good down smash. Ooh, down tilt trying to two frame. Ooh. That was very close. Uh, oh, gets him with the forward, forward smash. smash takes it. Adarob takes game one. Plays one. That was a good first. That was a good first game. All right, we'll. All right, we'll. We'll still decide to switch, or will he? Or will he stick with the? Oh, he's switching to Corin. Corin, that's nice. And then we have a Alomar. Alomar stick with Adarob. Yeah, I've only seen him play at uh, Alomar. So I was talking with him earlier, like, like Alomar, like is his, like his go-to main. Hmm. He doesn't have any secondaries. Nice, nice. I say, fo I say fox. I say he was telling me that he was also learning fox. Like he has a fox. Oh, that's good. The down smash should get off me. Oh, that's the that's the one thing Olimar has when it comes to projectiles. His has priority. Corn's does not. Yeah, Corn has very low priority with a lot of her moves. Like, pro like dragon first hit of uh, the projectile of Dragon Fang shot has no priority. It's very strong, but anything that hits it will will, easy, it. will easily beat it out. Yeah. Same with same with same with the pin on forward smash and side B. Both both of the pins have low priority. Yeah. So the pigment will beat will always beat will always beat it. Oh, good pigment latch. Almost took it with back air. Very scary. Ooh. Olimar can't do much off stage except he, for go straight up. He has no hitbox on his up B, so Corin can Corin can bully Corin can bully Olimar off stage if she wanted to. It's a really good. Recovery for in terms of like distance, but oh, oh, very unfortunate. I believe he w was trying to snap the ledge after letting go with the Yeah, time. I think his um, because if you do a move after a B, you go into free fall a little bit after, but I think he was like still an ending lag of the move. Oh, good down, good down B. Yeah, super armoring through that. I think what's the difference between 
Smash 4 Olimar is that his down B has four armors has four frames of armor. Back in Brawl, he had ten for armor frames. Ooh. Oh, whoa. So that switch but, was very good. For that him. switch was very good. The, the extra kill power from from Corrin kill killed Olimar really fast. And now so, we have a game three. So in that, in a moment in that game, it looked like um Adarov tried to use the purple or the yellow Pikmin through Corrin's neutral B. And it went through without taking any damage, but it didn't really help him out much. Oh, we have the Lucina switch. He's just playing all his mains. Luci well, Lucina, you, you, you can even hear from Steel that Lucina is his go-to, is his go-to, like, try and true. Oh. I mean, most comfortable character. Lila. Ooh. We, all, we have a lot of opinions with it based on Lila. <laughs> I think, I guess this is a stage that Adarov likes, because, um, I mean, I've only been... If you're comfortable, I've seen him twice, but like there's character, there's character comfort. Well, what's the I word? wonder if that's okay. the word I'm looking for. It has to do with comfortable. Uh, comfortable ability. He's just very comfortable. Oh, oh yes, very the, unfortunate. I believe he tried to B reverse it. Unfortunate, but 52% is nothing. But Ooh, nice. Force sma down smash into grab. That into it, that was a quick 53% okay. right there. <laughs> oh, and in a percent just keeps climbing. It's not looking good. This is rough. For, this is really rough for Stu now. Now, you never want to give a projectile character the present lead or the stock lead. Ooh. Good thing he, it was good that he used the Pikmin toss. Yeah, it, it's Ooh. nice because he can throw his Pikmin on stage, put a little pressure, and also his recovery goes a little higher because of that. Why? Well, I think he was trying to grab an ledge. It goes higher because the because the because there's less oh. Pikmin to him. Oh my god. Oh, uh, unfortunately, SDI. He tried to like he tried the pick. He tried the Pikmin launch to the other side. But we still I mean, have we still have a Lucina with a oh, hundred twenty one. Wow, oh wow, that what an interaction. I mean, luckily, Ooh. they both had seed in the same game, so it's a little fair. <laughs> it's Ooh. fair, but if you look, but at he has a lead right now. Yeah, Stu can bring it back. It, it just won't be easy. It seems very hard. Yeah. Oh, down smash takes it two one over at two round over Stu. But good stuff to both players though. Both, one like one, both both made both made SD, but one got lilac. Like we'll take trades. Yeah.